and good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers, Facebookians, Aries here. So, for all of you out there, how goes it? Um, I want to tell you, last night I was supposed to do a video uh, blog after I got back from uh, Walmart at, uh, at, um... Walmart uh, after uh, shopping and I spent $200. I spent $50 on booze which I got Crown Royal Maple and I gave a shot to the driver slash friend of mine and then I got a half gallon of Evan Williams. So anywho so last night I loaded up on some sausages um, a load of sausages. I should have Aaron bring in some of the sausages to share with you guys. Because I think you guys would get a kick out of seeing these sausages. But anyways, um, so I, uh, got some new flavored of sausages to try. One's like, a Monterey Jack and Chipotle brought by Johnsonville. It was new, caught my eye, there's only one of them. I'm hoping there's more of them. At Walmart when I go there next because I'd love to have more than one package of those. Uh, I got the cheddar ones which I call them uh, grease balls because besides the cheddar cheese in them they're just pure greasy. Apparently I know now why grilling brats is very good. Grilling brats are good because they're highly greased and when they cook them the grease drops down. And when I had them today in a frying pan there was this much grease on the pan and I had to eat it separate. This one here is the one that I we're having uh, uh, tonight, I think. Mm -hmm. Smoked sausage by Fireside Gourmet. It's a Sam's Choice. It's black pepper and uh, blue cheese. That's just gonna be interesting. I usually don't eat a lot of blue cheese. Then, uh, habanero one, I know. Wow. Sicilian inspired chicken sausage. It's a Harley Davidson brand, by the way. It says Harley Davidson uh, Roadhouse. Then you got that one, the Butcher Shop Cheddar Cheese and Bacon Smoked Sausage. And then um, you got that one, the Swiss Wurst, which I had to get one since Aaron got one. And no, the, we only got one of those. Uh, and then there's the Harley Davidson Habanero and Cheese Sausage. Now. Being a sausage connoisseur or a bratwurst connoisseur, I will tell you something about this one. This one's probably going to be a little more spicier than the habanero one that I ate. That was not it even habanero. Taste spice in it. Yeah, it was just it had like no habanero flavor. No, either. no heat either. So. And you never finished this, not you. Uh, yes, Aaron bought this last night for me. It was one of his little purchases and some Rice Krispie not treats. Not quite. Mountain Dew White. Um, this one is really good and I highly recommend it. Um, I'm drinking coffee right now, so I will drink this um, a little later. Skype just messaged again. Um, so, uh, yeah, anyway, so, this t so last night. I got done, got in, I watched the Hit Girl movie sucked. I'm going to watch probably True Grit tonight with Aaron after a cigar. Or I'll rent it and I'll let him know how it goes. He's like, you can't watch it without me. And I'm going to watch the new A-Team movie. So I got two movies. Well, do I don't forget we go out at 7.15 tomorrow. Uh, yes, I got to be up at 5. I was just going to tell the story. So today he made me panic a bit because I spent $200 even at the store last night. He made me panic because this morning I told him, hey, manager ain't going to be in our office. We can get our money orders, put them in the safe. We're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he goes out at, at like 8 in the morning, 8.30, and he says, yeah, I paid my electric bill and my, my vet bill, and I went over to the laundromat, and then I went over to uh, the Chinese place. They were closed till the 5th. Then I went and, uh, you know, all this stuff and did a circle. I looked at him, and I said, what about me? Oh, well, you know, so I was panicking. So we had to go to the, we want to, I want to pay my electric bill first. But instead, we went to the grocery store and I forked out a bunch of money for meats. And I was like, Rrr. and he's like, calm down. You're good. You're good. So then yeah, on our way back, on the way back, I said, 
I want to go by the post office. He finally agreed to it. So I go into the post office and he was like, hurry up. I don't want you with, uh, filling out money orders there. You know, we got groceries and stuff. So I got the money orders and the lady counted how many envelopes I needed. I needed a book of stamps. So I bought a book of stamps. Flag for all seasons. Got my stamps. Aaron flipped through the ones that needed the stamps already. Their letters and business letters, etc. Uh, there was like... 14 business letters that went out and I'm like, okay, that's what a post office box is for Then I took my other bills put them in my uh, you know the bills I was gonna with the envelopes put them in my purse again with the money orders went over the Electric company paid that I was 58 bucks for the entire month for you know using the air conditioning and stuff Then we finally got home. I went and checked my balance and then I sat down and I said I'm not spending any more for a few days or until I get to what's left. Well, Aaron says I need like 40 bucks on groceries, so let's hope it could be less. But that's not including the dollar store run that we have to do because we still need dish soap and a few other little odds and ends. So, uh, anyways, uh, so this morning I was blessed by God by the refund check. Uh, they said, oh, we didn't send it because we didn't have your uh, mailing address. So, Yeah. I was just wondering you all silent. Oh, I was typing something real quick. So anyways, I just wanted to say to you all, so they tell me the check's being refunded and it should go out by Friday. Let's hope they're telling the truth because next week I gotta go to Moses Lake, do a doctor's appointment and probably another uh doctor's appointment uh for uh uh for um uh, you know, for Aaron's sleep study. And I'm going to go to uh, Domino's. Oh, and I picked up some balls, which I got to pick up some more balls for Aaron on... Um, yes, I, I was ballless, and now I have balls again. Let me... Yeah, uh, juggling balls. Uh, they're, like, they're actually racket balls, but they're perfect for juggling, and I can actually fit them in my hand, and they're a bright blue, so... That'll help me see them better than the white ones I was practicing with. So, so Tencho and Chino. And, and they were only like three dollars instead of having to spend sixteen dollars online. And I get a nice little carry case for them. Yes, I gotta buy him two more sets at Walmart next time we're there. But this is part of his payment for uh, helping me clean this place. We got an inspection. Coming. And the fun part is they're bouncy enough. I can bounce juggle as well as juggle in the air. So I think they kill two birds with one stone. Anyways, so we got the bills covered. We got everything covered. And then Aaron says, oh, well, um, you know, so he went out and he bought a humidor. He bought cigars, boatloads of cigars. I bought some cigars uh, myself. Um, and not many and then uh, we talked about getting a couple more samplers this month and we're lining up some stuff I've got some stuff um, so the cigars are good everything is gravy at the moment um, so I'm very happy about everything the only thing left like I said is to take care of uh, a couple other bills tomorrow which will be at the um, uh, post office tomorrow, I believe. Um, uh, this is the bill pile right now. As you can see, there's not many envelopes left to knock down. These are bills, by the way. The hospital is going to get a bigger payment tomorrow, I think. They didn't piss me off. Now, this company, if I pay them another payment, they'll be lucky. You see, the story behind that is they sent me a bill, and... Aaron saw me last night throw a fit, and I crumpled it up, then uncrumpled it, then tore it up and threw it in the garbage can because I got, like, a whole bunch of these ones already there. From the past, they just keep saying, we're going to cut you off if you don't pay the full amount. I'm sorry. Prescription drug coverage, you guys ain't covering me that well. You want me to pay $1,200 for a deductible just so I can get meds, and then I'm paying $30. So anyways, uh, Aaron... So, so, Rita got some uh, Gurkhas in a cigar sampler. There's 18 in there, so I'll get to try six. 
And uh, among them is a warlord and an ancient warrior, now, uh, which I really, really look forward to trying. Um, Rita, I got some also, including a humidifier, and I got some little cigars for Rita. Uh, the, mine's not in there, um, so I, I, I can't go something. through the catalog. And somewhere I wrote it down around here, but I can't see it now. Uh, things got all cluttered here. But I got uh, a 12-pack. Uh, that has some really nice cigars in it. Uh, one's uh, Aging Room 2359, I think it is. And then I got like a PDR 1889 uh, Oscuro uh, that we'll get to try. And uh, there's a Hammer and Sickle Berlin Wall that we'll get to try. Uh, La, Clor uh, La Gloria Cubano uh, R Series that we'll get to try. Uh, and there's a Cusano LXI we'll get to try. And uh, I forgot the last one, um, May, May Fiore or something, May Floor, uh, and that's the other one. So, hey, I remembered them all off the top of my head. Anyways, I'm really looking forward to that aging room, and uh, I know Rita's looking forward to the Lord Gloria. I was Cubano. going to share with you this, the Gurkha. I want those. The Gurkha Holy Grails. If you buy a box of Gurkha oh, Holy that Grails, is so nice. you get... A free Gurkha humidor right there in the corner. Yes, I know, but the thing is, I don't know if you can see this very well on here. Um, sort of can. I like the case here. It's got a nice lid. It's like a ceramic case. And you can kind of see the one here. This is another one. Uh, one's for the Gurkha Medievals and one's for the Gurkha Holy Grails. I want both those cases. Now, if you buy the Gurkha 125th Anniversary Edition... Um, anniversary box purchase. You gotta pay two hundred dollars for the box purchase. You get the free Gurkha Godzilla eight cigar sampler and a, a humidor, and you get to try eight cigars. Which there's the Beast, and there's Beauty, and then there's the Assassin, and then there's a regular Gurkha, then there's Ninja, then there's Seduction, then there's another regular Gurkha, and then you got the Gurkha Evil. So all these ones, by the way, the Gurkha Medieval is not bad, but I like the Gurkha box for the Warlords myself. That's got like a lockable key, and it's just so cool. But anyways, um, I was looking at that, and then Aaron, uh, as he said, you know, that, and then these little tins. Got to try some more tins out next month, I think, and I'll explain it. Here it is. The Victor St. Clair Assorted Bundle right there, these little tinnies. The tinnies is what uh, is coming from Thompson for me to try, and there's 50 of them, little mini cigars. And then we got to try a soon, talking about cigars, um, because I like these little mini tins, and why pay full price for a five pack when you get more little tins? But listen to this you can get little Cohiba cigars that are four inches, you can get Arturo Fuente Davidoffs. Pollo de Rey with Monterey, which is the Excalibur brand. You got Maduro, uh, Gloria Cubanos, you got Macanudos, Maker Marks, Partigas, Padrones, Punches, Tatianas, which you can't get in this one, Tabac the Special, and then the Romeo Julietas. And these are these little mini cigars, and they're cool. One thing I like about things like this, which right on the cover, you can see there's. Uh well, there's Low Auroras, and there's Puro Vintage, and Don Lino's, and all that stuff on there uh, in this sampler. One thing I like about that is I'm building a wall of cigar labels. And that's, to me, the reason why uh, cigars are kind of interesting to me, but I can't smoke too many too often. So it's like maybe one every two or three days. And I'm going to tell you another good thing that's coming soon is this that we're sampling. The Buzzard's Banquet 2. Now you get 30 cigars, that means two of each. Aaron gets to try 15 more. But the thing about the buzzard sampler, which me and Aaron discussed, is a lot of them are their bundled do, uh, cheap jabos, the El Cheapos as we call them. But if the El Cheapos are that affordable, then I might have to buy two or three El Cheapo bundles of them from Holtz here or whatever company and smoke them. It's like the Po' Boy. The Po' Boy has... Um, 30 of them too, but they're always sold out. But Holtz isn't. So you get the Holtz, you smoke it, and then if you like it, you can get some of those discount smoky jobbies. You take a cork board, 
you lay it out and you say, oh, this is what I like. No problem. So, anyways, uh, the other thing we're looking into is buying by the box is um, the Victor St. Clair cigars. Now, I'm going to get another cigar bundle sampler because I want to try them again to make sure I know what I like. And with that torch lighter that Aaron picked up, it'll help us out, smooth out the cigar, and we can actually smoke it properly with no trouble. So, um, so yes, sorry about that. Uh, police truck, fire ambulance, etc. is going by, and little Ooter Bark likes to bark. See? So then he gets me crying to cranky for him barking. So uh, Aaron will take care of that little problem. Anyways, with that said, everyone, um, there you have it. Talked about cigars, talked about today. Tomorrow I gotta go to town, so it's gonna be an early night. So I wanna get dinner and my food in me and a cigar in me and then bedtime. So with that said, everyone, um, please add and subscribe if you like. Please post comments in the box if you like. Please add me as a friend. Please subscribe and please uh, post suggestions and comments, feedbacks, etc. And look for more cigar videos on Living Simply and Fun of these banquet bundles, etc. that we'll be testing out, including Gurkhas. Thank you, and may God bless the world.